I'm gonna test these on my Amish bike at a bike park. The RockShox Zebar weighs about five pounds. E-bike tuned, that means that right off the top, the first part of the travel is gonna have a very light compression tune because you're most likely gonna be sitting down because you're on a cheater bike. It has a monster 63 millimeter crown right here. That's to fit on e-bikes. This is a Fox 36 Rhythm taken off an e-bike. You can't buy these directly, but they're all over the place. It weighs four pounds, 13 ounces. This is a RockShox Yari taken off another e-bike. It weighs four pounds, 10 ounces. No idea about the tune on these guys, but we're gonna find out. The RockShox Yari, it's a little bit smaller. I measured it and I already forgot. Interestingly, the Fox 36 Rhythm has the smallest crown. I spent a bunch of time getting super technical. Most interesting thing I found, the lower legs on the 36 and the Rhythm are just about the same thickness at 44.5 inches. I mean millimeters. First run on the RockShox Yari, Blue Flow Trail. This fork handles great. No complaints so far. Excellent jumping fork. The bike feels good. There's a huck to flat right here. We already felt pretty composed. I've got three tokens in it. The remainder of this blue flow trail was extremely fun. No complaints with the Yari on this trail. Dropping into a downhill line here. This is a black rated trail. Gets a little spicy up here. Yeah, Yari's starting to feel it. Yari started to get a little bit overwhelmed here. High speed chatter. So dropping into this zone, little warm up, boom. This is where the Yari is really starting to feel it. I was picking my line, see the little swerve right there. The Yari is definitely overwhelmed. It's kind of fun to be under forked or under bike because you got to kind of pick your line. It turns into like a game. Oh, severe arm pump. Okay, the RockShox Yari, couple runs of the bike park. Look at that head crown. It just matches perfectly to the Specialized Enduro. It's just the right fit. I've got three different forks to put on the bike today, so it was an all day fork fest. I'm getting really quick at swapping forks. Fox 36 crown is smaller than the head tube, so it doesn't look quite as clean as the Yari. One notable difference is the Fox 36, this one's 180 millimeters. So we're overstroking this fork 10 millimeters. So I'm basically riding three different forks on two different trails all day in a row. The Fox 36 doesn't feel quite as playful right here, but it does jump really excellent. That stiffer chassis doesn't move quite as quickly as the Yari, so it's not quite as nimble. But that enhanced chassis, that thicker shock, just makes you want to send it deeper. Really no complaints here. I'm sending the jumps a bit deeper than last time. Here's my huck to flat test on the Fox 36. I came in way hotter than I did on the Yari just because of the confidence. The Yari felt a little bit Oh my this is God, the downhill this line. Is better. The 36 is just substantially more confident on this downhill line. I am going way faster. Very noticeable, a lot less arm pump on the Fox 36 than the Yari, as you can see this chattery section right here. Another standout section for the 36, this downhill line. No need to really pick your line, just plowing straight through everything. You know, with enhanced speed comes enhanced problems. I started going a little bit too fast on this section. Almost went into the tree right there. Time to pull over and take a break. Was way more confident. Interesting thing, the Fox air spring or damper, something to do with this fork, much less arm pump than RockShock. Let a little bit of pressure out of the fork because I'm at 6,000 feet and you have to go down in pressure. 
One notable thing with these cheap forks, you know, I dropped 10 PSI, barely noticed the difference. They're not super sensitive to adjustments and air pressure. Very good for beginners to have these cheap enduro forks for that reason. If you have an expensive fork set up in the wrong way, it's gonna feel terrible. Last fourth of the day, we got the Zeb on there. I forgot the bolts for the Zeb, so I stole some bolts out of the bike stand and the stem. Just do what you gotta do, I guess. Not ideal in that section of jump line, but I'm taking special notes on this section of trail, and the RockShox Zeb is definitely the slowest moving fork you know, it's the heaviest, it's the biggest, it's the stiffest. The one good thing about having that monster fork, when you huck to flat, it feels very composed. As I come into the tree line here on the RockShox Zeb, I'm just noticing how much more arm pump that freaking Zeb is giving me. And it's definitely the worst jumping fork so far on this section of trail. Let's do my little huck to flat test here. Definitely the best, huck to flat. Same section of trail as the last two forks. It's kind of a high speed chattery zone of trail and the Zeb feels excellent as long as the wheels are on the ground. I would safely assume I was the fastest Strava time on the Zeb on this section of trail, but it wasn't my favorite necessarily on this section compared to the 36 and the Yari. On the techie sections, on the RockShox Zeb, it felt really divey. I didn't feel like tuning it, adding air pressure and tokens. I've got a bunch of tokens in it. It's just really hard to get that Zeb dialed in. On this nasty section of trail, the Zeb was hands down the best for it. All out plowing, that stiff chassis. The problem with the Zeb bar is inside of the fork. Let's talk about my day at the bike park on all three of these forks. I really did like the Yari, felt really good on the blue trails, jumps excellent. Absolutely nothing wrong with the Yari. If you have a Yari and that's all you can afford, definitely go for it. The Zeb R, this has a light compression tune for your e-bike. I was riding an Amish bike, so it felt like it didn't jump very good. It was using too much of its travel, it felt like. I've really struggled on this fork. It's either too harsh or too soft. If you watch part of the video, you can see this thing way deep in its travel. Doesn't have much mid-stroke support. I wish this Zeb was 10 millimeters overstroke. It probably would have felt better. Certain sections of the bike park, this fork will get like a death wobble. The vibration is easy to stop. You just have to like kind of bunny hop or move the bike, but it's really harsh on the hands. So the Zeb R is the only fork in the lineup that doesn't have a compression tuner. These super affordable, cheap dampers, you know, you're just not gonna mess with them that much. So the Zeb R having no compression tuner isn't a real big deal. Interesting note, the RockShox forks gave me the worst arm pump at the bike park compared to the Fox. What can we learn from this? RockShox sucks, Fox rules, well, kind of. About a week later, I was riding a Zeb Ultimate super top tier fork and there was not as much arm pump on the top of the line Zeb. This is an older, basic, entry level Zeb, so take that with a grain of salt. Speaking about the king of this video, it's definitely the Fox 36. It has the best feeling air spring, the best feeling compression damper. This chassis is the most compliant, jumps the best, and it plows good too. So the Fox 36, it's the only fork in the batch that's overstroked, it's 180. I was riding a 170 millimeter travel bike. I think the best thing you can do if you're riding these super budget enduro forks is to overstroke them 10 millimeters. It really makes them ride better because they lack the mid stroke support. They just kind of dive through all their travel. You can't buy a Fox 36 Rhythm, but you can find them on the used market for super cheap. I've seen them as low as 200 bucks. That's less than it costs to service the damn fork. The 36, in my opinion, only compromises maybe 10, 15% of its plowing prowess on the gnarly trails. In exchange, you're gonna get a softer feeling bike 
that jumps better. But if you're ever curious what top of the line Fox 38 rides like, I'm gonna do single versus dual crown. So you should click this video right here.